Oh, hey, guess what, guys? Uh, I talked to science, and we're all getting superpowers. Yeah, Woo! Finally. Hey, guys, welcome to D News. I'm Anthony. I'm Lacey. And I'm Trace. And technology is genuinely going to give us all superpowers very soon. Uh, Jesse Emsbach put together a great list of all of the technological innovations that are going to lead to superheroism uh, in the future over on the D News blog, and we want to talk about some of our favorites. Yeah, so my favorite was, I know this is you know a little old, we talked about it in our last video that we did together, I mm -hmm. think, but the jetpacks, man, I'm so into flying. Jetpacks are oh never old. Gosh. I know, I want, I want to do it. So there's a couple of different ways that this mm -hmm. can happen. There's the Martin Jetpack, which is the one we talked about, uh, you know, it goes for $100,000, so maybe someday, guys. And then there's Yves Rossi's jetpack. He's a Swiss pilot and inventor, and he is known as the Jet Man. You know that he's doing a, it right if you're calling that him That is a good master. nickname. That's a pretty epic name. The problem with, with his jetpack, though, is whereas the Martin one lands, oh, yeah. to use Jet Man's jetpack, you gotta pull a parachute every time. Ooh. Oh. I feel like if you're not afraid of it flying with a jetpack, though, you're probably okay. Uh, another big important one, super strength. Obviously, you gotta get, right? Uh, exoskeletons can give you super strength, like, you know, Iron Man style. Okay. They let people carry 200 pounds for extended periods of time, and they move obstacles on the battlefield, and they can run around without getting tired. They also have, there's a company, It's this is its real name. Cyberdyne, and they made something called HAL. That sounds double bad. Right, but it's, <laughs> That's a double bad reference. But unfortunately, instead of just being a computer that sits there and controls everything, it's an exoskeleton. So it catches weak signals from the skin and muscles, so you can just literally move your arms and the skeleton goes with you. This is all assisted stuff. Like you said, this is like Iron Man right, stuff, right? right, right like, right, what right. if I actually want superpowers? Get bit by a radioactive spider. Are you saying spider? my jetpack would not give me superpowers? I'm not saying that. I'm saying you already have superpowers. Thank Lacey. you, Anthony. Aww. But if you wanted them actually inside your body, uh, there are smart drugs and gene therapy, sure, things that you sure. can actually do. Uh, well, th there's a company named uh, Rhinat that made a pain vaccine for the military, and it basically you inject yourself and you feel no pain for weeks. That reminds me of modafinil. It's yeah, an, it's an awesome, crazy drug. Yeah, this is the no sleep drug. So yeah, you yeah. like. You don't have to sleep for 40 hours on this. You have no fatigue, you have enhanced cognitive ability. It's really amazing, except once the drug wears off, you have to immediately go to sleep. <laughs> oh, <you're fine>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hopefully night. it does not wear off in the middle of maybe an important activity, driving, perhaps. Yeah. Oh is my it, god, drug wore off. Is it like a fade it's off? It's about, it's about like 40, I would love it if it was exactly 40 oh, hours yeah. and then you just fell Good right off. If you guys could have any superpower, what would you have? I really would fly. Yeah. I was I... not kidding. I want to fly. I also want to fly. Yeah, flying not, is a good one. It just seems amazing. Except for, I would, I would have to be really good at landing. <laughs> I've always wanted to be able to breathe underwater, which Whoa. makes me yeah, want to be Aquaman, which is yeah, the lamest the superhero. Lamest. There are more in the article on D News, including, you know, telekinesis, x ray vision. No breathing underwater because nobody but me wants to be Aquaman. <laughs> uh, but, but check it out. Let us know what superpower you would most want to have and be sure to subscribe for more D News. See you again next time, guys. Would Bye. you guys still love me if I was Aquaman? I, I'd probably love you more. If you wear the uniform.